Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the brand new Visi Art Petite Quads, all four of them. So if you want to hear my thoughts and see a tutorial for each, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I'm so excited. I am very, very shocked because what showed up at my door today were these guys and I wasn't sure if I was going to receive these in PR, but regardless, I was going to end up with them whether or not I purchased them or not. But thank you so much to Viziart for sending these my way. So excited. These look adorable. So I'm going to start off by going over the major details, the major facts, all of the important stuff that you need to know about these guys, and then I will break up into each palette individually. So if there's a palette that you want to know more about, I will put timestamps to each color down below. But stay in here for this one because I'm going to give you some important info. So these guys are inspired by dainty pastry delicacies. These miniature treats feature mouth-watering mattes perfectly paired with sparkly sugary shades with then four scrumptious eyeshadow quads. How cute. So these guys right now are available on the Visi Art website, Beautylish as well. But where I would recommend you purchasing them from ASAP is Muse Beauty Pro. So Muse Beauty is currently having their holiday shop. So there's a couple different ways you could go about purchasing these. They currently have a deal where you can get any two of these petite fours and then get an Isom T09 brush for free and that will cost you $44. Or Muse Beauty Pro is just 20% off site wide. So these round out to be a little bit over $17 each. So originally 22, you can get them for 17. So my link is affiliated with Muse, but genuinely it's, Muse is where I go to get all of my busy art stuff and the deals they are running on these cuties are amazing right now. So definitely recommend picking them up from Muse. Anyways, uh, let's get <laughs> into it. So all so I actually did end up finding an even better deal. It does limit the colors that you want, but this just showed up after I filmed. Take a look, you guys. So on Sephora, I will link this down below, but you can get two of the petites for $27, but it is limited to the chocolate and the framboise. But if you were interested in those two colors, that's a bomb deal. All four of these little guys are made in the USA. They have a 36 month shelf life, which is quite long, even for a powder. Mostly they're like 12 to 24 months. And then they are six grams of product. So let's just talk about how cute the packaging is here. So they come in little bite-sized quads for comparison's sake, here is an original 12 pan. They are t -t -t tiny and then you just pull it out of this cute, adorable sleeve and I just love how miniature they are. I always thought that these little guys were super cute, but no, the quads most definitely beat these out. So you can kind of see the size comparisons here. And then it says Viziar on one side. Again, I would love to see them really do some pictures or patterns on here. Uh, but it is that easel format. No mirror. I mean, it's kind of pointless to have a mirror on this tiny little thing. And then you have your four shades. And again, these are easily removable with the grooves. So just so you can see the pan sizes, I thought these were going to be similar to their Petite Pros. But that's not the case. They're actually bigger than the Petite Pros. But they do look a bit smaller than the 12 pants. So that is good news because personally, I thought they were going to be like this tiny. I'm happy to see they're a little bit bigger, but they are still so adorable. Okay, so the order that we are going to go in, we're going to start off with chocolat and then we will get into framboise. And then the third one, let's do lilas. And then the last one, we'll do praline. So let's take a close look into Chocolat. This almost has a sheen to it. It's not quite a matte finish. And then you'll see it has the palette name. Really adorable. And here are a closer look at the four colors. So this one is going to run a little bit warmer compared to some of the other shades. So from top to bottom, we have Cafe Creme, which is a terracotta nude, which is a matte shade. Pesh, which is a rose gold nude with a shimmer finish. 
orange sanguine i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong orange copper with gold reflectivity and ganache which is a milk chocolate brown with a matte finish so if you're more into warm tone neutrals i think this one is going to be the quad for you i love how easy these are to create looks with i feel like they create the look for you so it's really a thoughtless experience which is amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with cafe creme and i'm going to use that in my crease i just have a basic concealer as i would normally do as my base color and i'm using actually the e7 v34 from their new brush collection at muse so that is also available and wow okay just like that that did the work itself let me get a little bit closer you guys i apologize and do a quick second layer i mean you guys know i'm very very familiar with the visi art formula i love their formula so <laughs> i expect this to be nothing less and i'm going to apply that also to my lower lash line isam v33 and we're going into the shade ganache so you can see it lays down so pigmented and then it's going to work itself out not bad blendability given that some chocolate browns are really difficult to work with and this one definitely has like a red undertone to it now i'm using my finger with orange sanguine just going to pat this on the outer half of the lid and this pool is a little bit brighter on the skin than i thought but it has a really gorgeous sheen to it finally let's take some of pesh this one is a little bit more creamy feeling Ooh, me likey me really likey I'm going to build up some of the chocolate shade in the crease now. I'll come back to show you the final look with that, but now let's move on to Frambois. So now we get to take a closer look at, I believe it's pronounced Frambois. Again, you'll see it's not a complete matte finish, which I really like because it stops this packaging from getting dirty. And Frambois, let's take a closer look. So this one is more of a pink color story. So starting from the bottom to the top, we have Creme, which is a light beige pink that is matte. Glossage, I probably butchered that, is a pink champagne with a shimmer finish. Confiture, which is a medium pink red with a shimmer finish. And Frambois, which is a soft dusty rose. So I was not excited for this quad really at all. I felt like there was a lot of repetitive shades that I've already seen from Viseart. It reminded me a lot of Midsummer. So here is a look at Midsummer. So you can see these definitely have very similar shades, if not almost identical, almost. And then also here's a closer look at Paris Edit next to the Frambois. So I will say if you already have a large number of the Vizzy Art pinky toned palettes, especially Midsummer, I don't think that this is a necessity. But I will say these two shimmer shades look really, really stunning. I have high hopes for this one now. I got excited. So we are going to start off with Creme in our crease area. I'm putting this one quite high, pretty much up to my brow bone since it is so light so it's pretty much going to be our base shade here and i'm using my isam v34 so this one is relatively skin tone honestly so i don't really see that one on my skin <laughs> bk beauty 202 and now we're going into frambois so this particular quad does not have pretty much any depth to it it's more so about a soft color this is not deep at all if you want some more depth you're probably gonna have to build with another palette while this color is blending out very beautifully you can see it's very very soft so maybe not the best for deeper complexions that this line has to offer we're not doing anything revolutionary with our look here so i'm going into this shade right here I will say this has a little bit more of a metallic finish compared to some of the others that this line offers in the Petite Four collection. Because you'll see this has a little bit of microfine glitters. Again, nothing crazy pigmented, but it gives a really pretty finish to the lid. And then glossage, 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 whatever it's called. I'm going to put this on the inner third. Again, really, really soft colors, a really soft look. It's very, very pretty. So this guy is definitely very user-friendly. It's not an intimidating palette. It's going to give you a really pretty, easy, pinky wash to the eyelid. So I'm going to do liner and lashes just so you can kind of see how these palettes would look with the complete finished product. 
So I wanted to finish off by showing you what the eyes would look like with some liner and mascara. I'm really digging the chocolate. Uh, the Frambois I don't think is maybe the most necessary palette. It is a really gorgeous soft pink look. I don't dislike it at all. But I'm with the chocolate. Is your chocolate? Is it looking good okay so let's move in to the next two all right so now it's time to dig into lila's gorgeous kind of silver packaging this one you will see is a more cooler toned palette so from top to bottom we have fondant which is an ice silver rose shimmer finish then we have lila's a light muted mauve with a matte finish then we have Termisu, a light cool taupe with a matte finish, and Argente, which is a silver with a shimmer finish. And I can say just by swatching, now I haven't yet swatched Praline, the final quad, but these shimmers seemed a little bit more creamy and a little bit more metallic than the first two. I mean, that first shade Fondant is very much reflecting the light more so than any other shade. So out of the current three, I think this one's already going to be my favorite. I don't know, I'm really excited for Praline as well, but I think that this one is quite unique to the Vizzy Art line, and I think it's a unique color story, honestly, altogether. I haven't seen a quad curated quite like this, so we're gonna go in with the Muted Mauve shade, and I'm using a good old MAC 224, and it's like a mauve gray shade, very, very unique. I don't think I have a color like this, really. That I'm aware of and this is going in the inner half of my crease. I'm gonna kind of wipe my brush off. Now we are going into Termisu. So this one is going to be more of a cooler gray tone. Noticeably more gray tone than the first shade that we used. I'm gonna run the gray color along my lower lash line. Now this isn't a quad that has a lot of depth so I do think it's not for everybody. Definitely missing a nice charcoal gray but when you can only squeeze four shades in um, so now we're going to go in with Argente and just like the other looks because I have no originality to me. It's applying really gorgeous to the outer half. Now these aren't going to be really metallic-y or super creamy. So they aren't like the trendy formula, I guess is the way to describe it. Well, this shade is. This is really trendy, poppy, shiny. But for the most part, Viseart doesn't really fall for those trends. They know what looks good and what's a timeless formula. So I have to say, while I really do like this quad, I think it's unique. Definitely, definitely missing some depth. I even feel like I would like to dig into a palette and add a very dark charcoal color, like from the new Wayne Gauze palette. But as a little quad, this is definitely a vibe. It's a look. It's going to give you that steel-toned gray kind of look. So I do like it a lot. So now let's dig into Praline. This has a very nice light brown outer covering. And here are what the tones look like. So this is the one I was most excited about. This is the one that I absolutely needed to have. This has pure neutral tones in here. Neutral toned neutrals, as I like to say. So top to bottom, we have Sucre, a warm brown with a shimmer finish. Caramelise, warm champagne with a shimmer finish. Praline, an antique gold with a shimmer finish. And Pecan, a sienna brown with a matte finish. I know, Vizier makes me feel so uncultured, you guys. Yeah, I mean, just by swatches, this is my favorite. I'm already telling you now, it's my favorite. The shimmers seemed a little bit creamier, very similar to the Lilas. For some reason, the Fambra seemed to have more of a drier formula, and Chocolat was a little bit more creamy, but not as creamy as these two guys. But I'm obsessed. Let's just, let's dive into this one. This has me written all over it. You guys know I love cool tones, but I love my neutral tone neutrals more. So like, we're going to start off with the Chocolat Brown Pecan. And I'm going, that's busy art for you. Full pigmentation, doesn't skip a beat, and it's going to blend out beautifully. One way that you can tell a good quality shadow is when you do not need to layer a bunch of different depths of shadows. You can get a bunch of different depths within one shadow. That's what Viseart does. You can blend this really dark brown shade out to be softer on the outer edge 
and to have more depth in the outer V, like so. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush just to solidify that blend, and again down here. So now we're gonna take this shade, which has more of a satin finish, I would say. I'm gonna put this all over the crease. That's not my crease, just kidding, all over my lid. And you can see this one definitely is a little bit more flat. It's not a complete matte, but it's more of a satin. So if you want something a little bit more natural, you could stop there, but we want to amp it up. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm using the tip of this Olimar Pigment Packer brush. I'm gonna apply this to my lower lash line. For this one, I feel like I have a little bit more creativity in me. I don't know, I feel like it can place the colors in multiple places on my eyes. And then of course, we're going in with the lightest, creamy, delicious shade. I'm gonna pack it in the inner half, blend it out using my finger so that it becomes softer the closer towards the outer edge it comes. And then to finish it off, we're reapplying the deepest shade. Okay, yeah, that one's my favorite. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm gonna finish the rest of these looks so you can kind of see how they would turn out. And I'll give you my final roundup of all of these babies. All right, so I couldn't help myself. I did liner and lashes, but you can kind of see how the vibes are going with the quads. I'm really excited to give you guys my final thoughts. I was so excited for this launch. Anything Viseart comes out with really excites me because I feel like they have great, down to the basics, quality shadows always. They are the only shadow brand that I use in my kit regularly. I do switch out some brands, but Viseart is my permanent brand in my kit as far as eyeshadows go. And I thought these guys were just adorable and these smaller quads or just little palettes in general are doing better now. People are really starting to see the value of basically a look being curated for you, especially with quads. There's not many directions you can go. So if you don't want to think about it, these little quads are great. I mean, you can't get better as far as traveling. <laughs> than with these palettes. I mean, I don't know, maybe you, you're going somewhere where you need to slip your eyeshadow into your purse. These are perfect, thoughtless palettes, really great. And you get four complete different looks, which I really love. So something also really important to know about these quads is that they aren't going to give you really glam, dark, deep kind of looks. All of these four palettes are very, very wearable. So they bring you these kind of tones in a wearable way. So if you're looking for glam, run away from these, you, you won't like them. But as far as just making an easy everyday look for you, these do a great job of that and it's like, so gorgeous, so quick, so easy. So if you aren't interested in picking up all four, I do recommend picking up the color story that best fits your needs and what you're actually going to wear. Now, as far as my favorites, I found that the quality in Praline was a little bit creamier than some of the others. And this is just the color story for me. So this is the one that I'm going to recommend the most. Neutral Tone Neutrals. I'm all about this great everyday palette. I feel like this has a better range of depths than some of the other palettes as well. So I think it's a little bit more versatile. I also really, really love the Lilas palette. This is probably my second favorite. Now it's not perfect. It's a very, very light palette, not much depth, but I do really enjoy the look that I came up with. I feel like it is very, very unique and I don't have a lot of little quads like this and it really fits into the now cool tone trend. So I feel like this is a little bit more different. So that's why I like this one. My third favorite is Chocolat. I'm just not as into warm tone neutrals when there is a neutral tone neutral in front of me, but I thought that this was a beautiful palette as well. I thought this one had a really great variety of depths. You can see kind of every color depth here. Deeper, medium, a more medium shimmer and a lighter shimmer. So I do feel like this covers a very good range as far as only being a quad. So this one's really nice for my more warm tone lovers. And from Bois, I've got to be honest, this one really isn't that my favorite. I wasn't that impressed by it. I felt the formula was a little bit drier than the other three. Now, it's very pretty. I really like the look. And I felt like there was a little bit more dimension in these shimmers. Now, the Lila's shimmers were definitely the brightest and most reflective. But these texture kind of wise with glitters and all of that were the prettiest. I don't know. This one you didn't get a lot of depth with. It's a bit dry. It's not bad. It really isn't if you like a nice soft pink look but it's just not my favorite of the four but i do recommend all if you're interested in all but ranking wise one two three quattro all right you guys so that's all i have for today's video big thumbs up 
for Busy Art and thank you so much for sending these my way. So excited about these. They're so cute. And if you want these, get them for 20% off on Muse right now. That's the best deal you're gonna find with these being such a new release. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Confiture, confiture, which, 